Beginning in the 1400s, several European countries began to explore the world by ocean. Countries such as Portugal, Spain, England, and France paid explorers to set out across the ocean to find new trade routes, look for resources, and explore unknown land. Advances in technology from many places beyond Europe helped explorers navigate unfamiliar territory. Some of the tools that made explorers' oceanic voyages easier included the compass, the astrolabe, the quadrant, and the caravelle. The original compass was invented in China as early as 300 BCE. It differed from the modern compass in both appearance and purpose. Originally, it was used as a spiritual device to determine the best locations for building a house or placing a gravestone. Over time, the Chinese further developed the compass to be used for navigation. This magnetic compass was introduced to Europe around 1100, after people in Europe began trading with the people of China. Europeans began using the tool to navigate the ocean for trade and later for exploration. Explorers often relied on the sun and stars to determine direction, but what if the sun and stars could not be seen? The compass helped with that problem. A compass finds direction by using a needle made from a magnetic material. Because opposites attract, the southern pole of a compass's needle always points to the Earth's natural magnetic north pole. In ancient Greece, another tool was developed, the astrolabe. It means to take a star, or star taker, and it was originally used to look at the stars and calculate time, but was later used for navigation. The astrolabe is a circle made of wood or brass and requires many circular plates to find specific locations, so its use was limited to only locations that had a plate made. It measures the distance between a star and the horizon, which determines one's line of latitude. By calculating their line of latitude, explorers knew which direction to go. The astrolabe was used extensively in the Arabic world before coming into wide use in Europe in the 1100s. As it is customary for Muslims to pray five times a day, the astrolabe was used to calculate prayer times based on the location of the sun. Muslims also pray toward the city of Mecca, so the astrolabe helped people determine which direction to face while praying. Soon, Muslims in Spain introduced the astrolabe to other European countries as a navigation tool. The astrolabe was replaced by a similar, more practical tool called the quadrant in the 1600s. It was designed by English mathematician Edmund Gunter. The quadrant is made from wood and is one quarter of a circle, with degrees marked on the edge. Like the astrolabe, the quadrant also was used to find latitude by measuring a star's altitude from the horizon. But the quadrant was easier to use because it didn't require multiple parts to find locations. Changes in ship design also contributed to exploration. The Caravelle was a ship that many explorers used. Prince Henry of Portugal began to use the Caravelle for long distance trade in the 1300s but there is still debate as to where the ship was originally created. The Caravelle used sails called lateen, which were triangular in shape and could tolerate wind. These lateen sails were adapted from Arabic technology. Additionally, the ship's rounded bottom made it faster and easier to sail in narrow water passages. These four tools were instrumental to the rise of exploration in Europe, but they would not have been possible without cultural exchanges from Asia to Europe. As history shows, the spread of this navigation technology contributed to the spread of the world's people.